Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube video. You hear your host GBHL Tom and GBHL Damien. And welcome to another um, Battle of Five Army special. Um, we're going to be talking about the supplement again, and this time it's elves. Elveses! And the White Council. Filthy elves twisted it. Yeah. Indeed. Um, so, a lot of profiles to talk through. Yeah, so um, no scenario in this video. No. But um, we'll be looking at the new elf heroes, the mm -hmm. two new types of elf warriors. Yeah. And the White Council, mm. not all of whom are elves. No. no. Um, but all profiles, and all very exciting. Yes. Probably the profiles that have generated the most chatter. I Apart think. from Smaug. Smaug. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to enjoy here. A lot to get yeah. stuck into. So why don't we kick right off with Thranduil? Thranduil, King of the Woodland Realm. Yes. Now he is very different to his old profile. Yeah, and then so. So the old Thranduil had two attacks and two wounds. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very good profile. This one is probably even better. Yeah, it's a very different kind of role yeah. in your arm, isn't it? Because this one, he's fighty. He's fight seven. I mean, I mean, right from the start. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're talking. That's your Bolg and Azog, and then Glorfindel, Elendil, Elendil, um, Gilgalad. Gilgalad's nine, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But up there, Gilgalad, troll Gilgalad chieftain. Six. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, jumping up from six to seven is a big old jump. Yeah, um, but yeah, he's five seven. Uh, strength 4, so same as usual. Defense. Still 2 plus shoot, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't have a bow. Doesn't have a bow. Um, defense 6, which is, which is good. He was defense 5, wasn't he? Yes. yes. Um, 3 attacks, 3 wounds, courage 6, same. and then might will and fate a 3s all round. So he does have, he's, he's become a 3s in all the places. Beast, yeah. He's become a completely different profile. Mm -hmm. From this kind of support hero who's very, very handy and you wouldn't yeah. want to go up against, to a real combat leader beast yeah, and yeah. possibly an argument that he's now the best elf yeah and you'll game. see why in a second so he gets heavy armor um to get the defense six but also an elven cloak and two elven blades so i mean the elven cloak is cool yeah it's like, it's as really we'll say like later it. legolas has lost yeah. it but he still gets that which is mm. quite funky yeah and the two elven blades are useful for tied fights yeah um he does have the option to have a horse no, no elk, elk. So it's just a shame yeah. because we'd love to see the elk model. And, um, no spoilers to those in the film, but he looked great on the elk in the film. Yeah, and there's you know there's no point really going over this too much because we've talked about the plans here, but um, it's probably an old uh, vestige yeah. of an old script, yeah. which is a bit of a shame. But what you could do, of course, is sculpt to convert an elk on a forty mil base. Yeah, nothing to stop you doing that. No, and it has been done by Dave Fredericks. Yes, it has. Yeah. Talked about that before. Um, the picture in the book here is just Thranduil on foot. Uh, very cool with the cloak billowing. But that said, the model on the horse is amazing. Yeah. The model on the horse is really, really fantastic. Know if it's in this yeah, I think it's in the inside back cover. There he is. Well, this is some good knowledge from. Thank you very much. Mr. O'Burn. Um, I think you can get him there. Right in the centre. So remember, if you do want to get your hands on this source book now, um, assuming it's after Friday the. soon. Friday the soon. Uh, Friday the 19th? Yes. As soon as after Friday the 19th, it's either £5 um, online or you can get the PDF from the back yeah. library. Or, depending on where you go for the, go for it, at my local toy shop, they generally have them beyond the Friday. Oh, really? But okay. when I went in, these were all sold out and they're ones of the old ones. I blame Callum Edens. He probably went in and took them all. Classic Edens. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, he does have the option for a horse, which should, suddenly you've got your fight seven... Yeah, um, hero with three horse. attacks on a horse, which he pretty does good. have expert rider, which always helpful for when the horse gets killed, and he does have woodland creature, so he can charge through the woods. But he doesn't have the circle of kings. No, which is a, which big, is thing. a big thing for Thranduil fans because yeah. that was <clears throat> his big his big issue on you know making everything cause terror and, and being able to nature's wrath. wrath on a six is is great. So he doesn't have that. No, um, but there's one special rule he does have which helps make him a beast. It's called Blade Lord. Uh, the King of the Wood Elves is a swordsman of consummate skill. Uh, indeed. On foot, when fighting on foot, Thranduil gets plus one attack. So he's four attacks on foot. On foot, just four attacks, base. Yeah. Which is very good. Four attacks, So that's seven. very similar to the Hunter Orb rule. Mm -hmm. In addition to this, he gets Tauriel's rule. As in, every model in base contact with him 
Um, for every once he's got more than one, every additional one grants him an extra attack. So if he's got two models, I think that's five attacks on foot. Three, that's six. And it's worth pointing out because we discussed this in the Palantir. Yeah. It is all of that rule is only on foot. Yes. Simon Grant clarified that. Yes. So even, there's potential that you could read the second bit as saying, furthermore, yeah. whenever. And I think that's quite nice. On the horse, you get the knockdown, yep. and there's an, obviously an advantage of that and the movement. But on foot, if he gets dismounted, he's still an absolute beast. He's now, arguably better, isn't he? Yeah. Would you take, that's what I was going to ask you, would you take him on foot or on horse? I think it'd still take him on the horse. And then the horse kind of, is probably going to die before Thrandy or Yeah, this. kind of mock people, you know, taunt people, kill yeah. the horse, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he can dismount if he really wants to. Yeah. But he'd also the, get, the other thing is, he'd also get the benefit of the Elven Cloak. Mm. And you'd save yourself 10 points. And you'd only have to paint one model. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, because I've not got this model because it doesn't have the elk, but I was thinking, I really want the foot model now, just the mm. foot model. So, what you essentially get um, for his points cost, or which is 26 goblins <laughs> with stuff. I'm sure. This is a free PDF, right? It is a free PDF. It's 130 points. It's 130 points. <laughs> Um, I've, sh I've shown them the picture. Good point, yeah. <laughs> um, so without buying the horse for 130 points, you get a four attack fight seven model. Four attack base, and he goes yeah. up from that. He is a monster. So let's compare him against the other elven heroes. This Gilgalad, who can, who's, you know, arguably better fight nine. Fight. Only defense one fight, eight. Though. Defense eight though, and he gets plus one to wound. So Gilgalad's amazing. Uh, Glorfindel with the resistant to magic defense seven. Um, he is very good. Thirty or forty, something like that. Which is Glorfindel. Uh, Glorfindel 130, is one hundred forty. Yeah. And Gilgalad's one hundred forty. Yeah. This isn't a free PDF. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I think Thranduil rivals them, definitely. Yeah, definitely. He's a, he's a good old choice. He's a yeah. really solid choice. And I really like that it's so different. Yeah. That it's not, it's, even as much as I like the new Thor and new Bill, there's not that kind of, which, oh, yeah. well, this and that, yeah. oh, but that's probably better. You know, yeah. the old Thranduil's probably better. Whereas this yeah. is, he, he's not better than the old Thranduil. He's, he's just, just so different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you either choose the mid-range Thranduil to be your casting the Aura of Dismay and the uh, the Nature's Wrath, yeah. or you go for this guy as a combat monster. Mm. Um, the Defense 6 is good against um, most armies, but the Defense 4, uh, Strength 4 can whittle him down if he does have a bad round of combat. Now, I had a question about this Thranduil. Mm -hmm. In the Death of Smaug's you yeah. can get Palace Guard. Yes. He is... Oh, that is interesting. Um, he is in the Thranduil's Halls yes. list, the updated yes. one, along yes. with Palace Guard. Yeah, we should say what's in there. Yeah. Uh, so in the Thranduil's Halls list now is Thranduil King of Mirkwood or Thranduil King of the Woodland Realm. So still a Desolation of Smile version. Uh, Legolas Greenleaf or the updated Legolas, which we'll come on to. Um, Tauriel, but not the updated cap Tauriel. Mirkwood Ranger Captains, Palace Guard Captains, Mirkwood Captains, Mirkwood Rangers, Palace Guard, Mirkwood Elves and Mirkwood Cavalry. So, um, we'll be coming on to all of those newer profiles later. But Palace Guard, their King's Guard rule, defending their King, the Palace Guard will fight all the harder. Whilst within three inches of Thranduil, Palace Guard receive a bonus of plus one to their fight value. So, yeah, so you would get it. Palace Guard, go away, to that, fight that seven. doesn't yeah. say, what go was he to, called? What is it, fight six? With yeah, they got to fight six. Was he King of Mirkwood? Yeah. 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 It doesn't say within range of Thranduil, no, King of Mirkwood. so they get it. So, the good news is, and I really like this sort yeah. of thing, that Palace Guard will benefit from yeah. protecting him, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Because and even if it had said King of Mirkwood, I think you could have argued it because that yeah. was written yeah. after this. But yeah. the way I see that, yeah, there's definitely. a really good synergy definitely. between them. Yeah, it's really good. And um, one thing is that with the Mirkwood Rangers, because you can take them, um, they only uh, the hundred percent bow limit only works with the Desolation of Smile heroes. Yes. So they have to lead the rangers, so that. Um, I've got. I'm going to get onto this when we go through some troops. I've got some ideas about this army. Have you? Yeah. Okay. I've got some cool stuff. Okay. okay. Let's come back to that. Hmm. Um, so yeah. So Thranduil. Thranduil. Uh, model 
It's a very good model. The shame about the elk. Nine. That's Nine, yeah. I prefer the one on horse. I might even give ten. I think the one on horse is fantastic. I, I wouldn't give it ten because it's not an elk. Yeah, but that's not the model's fault. No. It's As a model. sculpt. It's good. It's good. The one on foot, I think, is more like a seven or something. Now, the only reason I've not got it is because it's not on an elk. Mm. And I'm hoping... Yeah, maybe. Fingers crossed. ...that there'll be one. So I'd, I don't want to buy one and then be like, oh, no, there's an elk one. Okay, and the profile itself, 10. <laughs> Maybe not 10. It depends, it depends how you rate him, doesn't it? It's very good, it's up there. It's very, very competitive. Yeah. He's cheap for what you get. Yeah. When you compare him, you've probably already seen the Gyrion's Air one, the bar. He'll be a cool profile to use, he'll be a pain in the backside to play mm. against. You'd have to hope, if he comes up against Isengard, crossbows will tear him apart, but then you'll yeah, hide him cloak. Yeah, shoot into combat. Mm. I think I'll take him on foot. Yeah. So yeah, okay. Nice time to... On to Legolas Greenleaf, Prince of Mirkwood. Now he is a hundred and twenty-five points, which is more than his normal points cost uh, mm -hmm. in the old forms. Um, fight value seven. Legolas is fight value seven. Now, got to assume that this is based on the film. Yeah. That he in the Hobbit films he is very very good. I think it's. The, the Legolas profile has been accepted for over 10 years mm -hmm. as Legolas and then it made a lot of sense in the Fellowship and the Two Towers and he was good and then he got better in Town of the King and then the Hobbit kind of turned him into a bit of a superhero. Yeah. And you now, you do have a different opinion of Legolas now from the mm -hmm. films. Yeah. Like Legolas is now film wise up there with Boromir and Aragorn yeah. isn't he and what he achieves. Yeah. And because he... Um, Definitely the end of Desolation of Smaug, at least, because no spoilers here, goes toe to toe with Bulg. Yeah. He needs to be fight seven. Yeah. So, Legolas, that possibly the best hero in the game, yeah. has got a whole lot better. Yeah. He is three plus shoot value, um, as usual. Strength four, defense five, so he comes with armor as standard. Three attacks. Three attacks. Um, two wounds, crit six. Three might, two will, three fate. So it's just the attacks and the fight value that have changed. And he keeps two wounds, which is good. Yes. They haven't quite made no. him invincible. Yeah. Um, he. If you wanted to pick two stats to increase on Legolas, though, it's mm. an attack and a fight. A yeah. Bit. <laughs> Jamie was very happy, I think, when he saw yeah. He gets his elf bow, and he also gets Orcrest. Included in that points cost. Yes. Which is very good. Which is 10 points. Mm -hmm. So essentially, that makes him 115. Yeah. And with armour, he should be 95. Yep. So he's 20 points more than um, his old profile. Yes. And what does he get for that? Fight value and attacks. Yes. So yeah. arguably 10 points more too expensive. But then you're, but because he becomes a three attack hero, Yeah. you think there's a premium? Well, not for a three attack hero. I think three attack, three wounds. But okay. he does have three fate. But yeah, I mean, I think 125 points, if you look at it objectively, is a, a fair points cost for him. Well, because Legolas is cheap, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I mean, cheap in that his, his deadly shot rule, which he still has, is very, very good. Mm. Um, so yeah, Orcris, same as Thorin, causes terror and uh, multiple wounds on orcs. Uh, orc. And wrists. Yeah. Orcs, goblins, and Urukai. And he causes terror. Yes. Yeah. Okay, he's still got the woodland creature, but yeah, um, it's he a nice profile. Have a horse. Yeah. Now this, the, the key thing here is that he doesn't have an elven cloak. Mm. So you've got a choice, you either take the older Legolas's, or Legoli, to steal a time out joke, um, and sit him behind your lines and shoot, and use that elven cloak to protect him from magic, especially, another sh bow fire. This Legolas, you really... If you, with the defence 5 and the lack of Elven Cloak, you really have to hide him behind obstacles when you're shooting. Yeah. And then get him stuck in. Because defence 5 is still fragile. Yeah. But he would be very good at getting stuck in. The interesting thing about him is he's, he's relatively pricey for mm. a hero. Yeah. You, you'd have the old Legolas as your general quite a lot. Yeah. Because he hides at the back of his Elven Cloak. Yeah. This guy is better, but you probably wouldn't want him as his gen no, general. because you want him to get stuck in. So then the question becomes, well, who is your general? Fandor. So, yeah, is this Legolas only viable at a points level where you can already afford Thranduil? Hmm. The new Thranduil, do you think? 
Is that where his place comes in? Mm -hmm. You could have ta the old Tauriel. As a general? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. She's got an elven cloak, but she's not going to sit at the back, I guess. Because oh. I think he, that Legolas, could be on horse. Mm. Incredibly yeah, I forgot powerful. to say he can get a horse. Yeah, because he's, he's got the elf blade in yeah. case anyone does manage to tie his fight. He's got fight seven, so only heroes, really. Yeah. O only heroes, I think. I don't think there's any fight seven yeah. troops. No. Yeah are going to be getting up there above him. He's superb on the horse. He's going to be knocking people down. And because he's got, not got the Elven Cloak option, you might as well put him on. And if anyone else. does heroic strike against him, he's got the Elf Blade, and yeah. he causes terror with yeah. counter charges. He's going to be very destructive, I think. Yeah. So it's quite interesting, because there's no actual... He doesn't get any new special rules. No. He's just bumped. Bumped one attack, bumped one fight value, give him all crisp and a horse, yeah. and he's very good at attacking. He's great. So, thoughts on the, the model? I'm, really sure I'm not you. that keen on either of them. You're not? No. Yeah, you haven't got them, have you? I did. I, I, don't, I don't think they're awful by any means, but I'm not, I don't think it's particularly elegant. I, I like them. The one on the horse, I think, is better. Yeah. They're still, they're still good, they're not bad model. Mm -hmm. But, um, you? Yeah. yeah, I like them. Had a turn? Um, a seven or eight. I think about a seven is probably fair. And the profile's good, the profile's strong, but the lack of the album cut, again, it's quite interesting. It's a good, it's a good choice yeah, it to is. have. I would have thought it was even more interesting if they they um, got rid of his shooting rules, but then yeah. that said, or maybe one of them, but that said, having mm -hmm. seen the film, it's just awesome. He does some great shooting stuff, yeah. which is kind of what you want from <clears> Legolas. Yeah. I prefer this one because I think it's a more fun profile than sitting at the back. You do the sitting it at the is, back, yeah, you're and right. then you go in and chop stuff up. You've now got, to be you know, like them all over, and PJ has changed Legolas yeah. over the last 15 years into a kind of cool, chop everything yeah. up hero. Yeah. And that's the profile that you want him yeah. to be charging and stuff, chopping yeah. everything up. So it'll be good fun. Okay. Um, Tauriel, <laughs> Exile. She is 85 points, so 5 points cheaper than last time. So she's um, cheaper. Because she is exactly the same stats but loses her bow. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Because of something that happens in the Battle of Five Armies. Yes. Have to go and see it to find out. Um, she's got the same rule, Blade Mistress, so she gets her extra attacks when multiple models charge. Um, she has a new rule, Vengeful Fury. Um, Spoilers. Yes. Um, we talked about this in the unboxing of Tariel. Which may have happened, or may not or have may happened. not. If there's, not. There's an unboxing of Tariel. Yeah, if not, look forward to that unboxing. <laughs> or you've seen it. Wasn't it great? <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Um, so basically, without any spoilers, Tariel will um, go into a rage like Eladan and Elra here do if the other dies. Should something happen. Should something happen. Um, and her attack, uh, sorry, her strength will go up by one to five, and her defense will go down one to four. So for it's the a, remainder of the battle. It's specific when something happens to one character. Yes. So this rule is utterly dependent on you having another character. Yes. It's Keely. <laughs> I think we can talk about yeah. it. I think, to be fair. It's Keely. Um, it's Keely. You need to have Keely Champion Variable in an army for this to activate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it's not... I, the way I see that, and I think this is the way they point it, it's mm -hmm. not a good rule or a bad rule. No. That's why they don't charge her for it. It's no. neutral, because... Yeah. It, you, is it worth it? it depends, I think it depends where you are in the game. Yeah. If she's in combat and she's not being shot at, you then want strength five yeah. is probably a good thing. Yeah. Because ultimately, if she gets trapped with defense five, she's going down anyway. Yeah. So it's a cool profile. Yeah. Um, um, if you had to pick it, <clears throat> you'd pick the first one though. Yeah. Because you get the boat. You get the boat, and she can lead troop. Yeah. Because that one, while she's not an independent, she's mm. not in Thranduil's halls. No. Nope. She's in the, <laughs> the the list where weirdos go. Yeah. She's in Radagast Alliance. So who do we get in Radagast yeah, Alliance? It's, I thought it was really weird in Desolation Smoke that you got yeah. Bard in there. Yeah. Radagast the Brown, or Radagast the Brown Riding Great Eagle, which we'll get on More to. More on that later. Bard the Bowman, Bayon, Gwaihir, Great Eagles, and Tauriel, Mokwood Exile. And there's a tiny bit of fluff that goes, Radagast also attracts other lonely souls. Yeah. And this sort of I don't get why Bard's in there. Yeah. Or Tauriel. <laughs> you know, they need an army list, don't they? That's yeah. That's a thing. Bizarre. But yeah, it's a bit odd. But um, yeah, so she can't lead troops. Mm -hmm. So beyond, realistically, beyond scenarios, I don't think there's any point in taking her. No. Beyond the pure fluff. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, um, but it's a great model, yeah. and I think I would certainly be inclined, with my opponent's consent, to um, use that as the old Terrier model, mm -hmm. which I think people will be fine with. To be honest. Yeah. So okay. yeah, that's new Terrier. Um, final elf hero, um, ignoring the White Council, is the Mirkwood Captain, who's a superb model. Stunning. Um, Lily even thought I should get it, just because it looks so good. And it does look good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> 75 points, so pretty standard for an elf hero, uh, captain. Uh, fight 6, uh, strength 4, defense 5, 2 attacks, 2 wounds, courage 6, and then 2 might, 1 will, 1 fake. So the same as a Galatrim, Galatrim yeah. captain. Um, but he does have a special weapon, which is a an elven glaive, which is essentially a spear crossed with elven blades in so one. So 75? Yes. It's ten points more than we got think. Ten points more? But it's the same stats. I think. Okay. Six. Three plus four, five, two, two, six. Yep. Two and one. Just normal. Yeah. It's maybe uh, a glaive for a hero, it's ten. Yeah, it is, it will be ten because it's two. Yeah. It's, two it's essentially a spear and elven blade in one. And you can just shield with it. So it's a very good weapon. Yeah, very good. Um, so yeah, this captain's pretty good. He's very good. Defense five is the let down, but also yeah, as you when said. When we take well, him, yeah, in Thranduil's Falls, that's your mm -hmm. army list. Yeah, it's got to go a version of Thranduil, then Legolas, or a version of Thranduil and or Legolas, the other one of those. Yeah, probably then Tariel. Yeah, and then even then, doesn't it go maybe Mirkwood Ranger captain? Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think it matters really once you get to the captain level. Yeah. But it's just such it's a, a cool stunning model. Stunning model. I mean, well done, Games Workshop, on making such a great model to give you that choice. Yeah, I've bought him, even though I think I'll never use him. Yeah. So yeah, pretty standard, but again, very expensive just to get a couple of might on the table with yeah. no extra rules. Yeah. But we'd give we'd give him ten for the model. Yeah, it's a gorgeous model. And then the profile. We're very generous today. Profile's reasonable. Glaive's cool. Yeah. Okay. Warriors? Yeah, elf warriors, two new kinds. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't want to go sequentially in the book here, I want to go for the Mirkwood elf first. Whoa. Uh, this guy, <laughs> such a renegade. Because we're going on from the captain, so... I don't, I'm just worried that people are unsubscribing at this point, because <laughs> you're so extreme. The Mirkwood elf. So, these are, um, fight five, uh, three plus shoot value, three for defense, uh, strength three, defense four, one attack, one wound, and courage five. Mm -hmm. So a, a very generic Galathrin? elf profile, yeah, Galathrin. So yeah, the same as the elves at uh, Helm's Deep. Um, it can be given an elf blade, a shield, an elf bow, or this elven glaive, as the captain has. And that's two points. They can't have a banner, can they? No. I just noticed that. Yeah, no option for banner. Still no banner. Which is frustrating because people might want to convert one. Yeah. And so that means no banners. Oh, in the. In you can Palace Guard can get them. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Palace Guard can have banners. That's strange, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, eight points for these elves. So, yeah. So they're fairly exactly, costed. They're exactly the same as a Galath. Which is great because the Mirkwood Rangers are mm -hmm. fairly costed. Yeah. But you just they're have just to expensive. pay for the Mirkwood. You have to pay for the Elven Globe. Yeah. Whereas the Palace Guard. Are too expensive to yeah. make them viable. So these Mirkwood elves are potentially unlocking Thranduil's halls. Yes, I think making them cheap as enough. a yeah. as a viable army. Yeah, which I think is very exciting. Yeah, and those models, mm -hmm. Elven um, with the glaives, very good. They're very good. Yeah, you've got a model with an elf blade. Yeah, and the worst spear. case scenario, you get to support someone spear, yeah. and you can keep them alive by shielding. Shield them. They're very yeah. They're, they're excellent choices. But then I mean, you've also got the choice of take, giving them the shield mm -hmm. so that um, they go up to defence six. Yeah. So, you know, it's not. Defence five. They go up to defence five, sorry. Yeah, I mean, looking at the model, you'd probably say defence six. Probably. Yeah, we talked about this in the late demolition one, they, yeah. but then they're, they're kind of analogous to Glathrum rather than yeah. analogous to um, yeah. high elves, I guess. Yeah. And Jack kind of keeps high elves. And it separates it them from the Palace Guard as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
So they're nice. Yeah. Good to have another rainbow. Yeah, I like them. Um, I've not picked up anything yet, but probably will. I've, I've got a Warband there, but they, they have been, as all my models seem to have been taken away from me. Yeah. They've been taken away from me by my mum. Uh, so they should be under the tree, hopefully. Uh, the second one was exciting when we saw them. It's um, Mirkwood Cavalry. We didn't expect to get these guys. No, no they, are, they are in the film ever so briefly behind yeah. Mirkwood. They don't, they, don't, they don't really feature in the battle. No. But 16 points, so a reasonable amount. Very cheap. But cheaper than Rivendell Knights and Galathrim Knights. Same as a Palace Guard. With the yes. Shield, <laughs> yes. Which is how I keep looking at it going, what? Yeah. So they're Fight 5, mm -hmm. um, Strength 3, Defence 4. And that's the kicker. One attack, one wound, and Courage 5. Um, they have Armour, Elven Blade, and their horse. Um, they're Expert Riders, Woodland Creatures. Um, <clears throat> they also are have a special rule called King's Knights. Um, when riding alongside um, Thranduil, King of the Woodland Realm, so that's the latest version of the profile, um, whilst mounted, they count as being range of a banner if they're within six inches of Thranduil. That's good. So that's a good rule. Now, one thing about these guys is that what are you going to use as the dismounts? Because they don't have a shield. But then the only Mirkwood, they're essentially Mirkwood Elves mounted. Mirkwood Elves don't have a model without a shield, just with a blade. Yep, that's a good point. So the, you'd need a clan pack of warriors. Mirkwood Elves. Mirkwood Elves. And then not put and the not shields. shields on. Yeah. You could, I'll tell you what you could do. You could get that clan pack and you could put the shields on Palace Guard. Yeah. Because no, there's not enough palace, there's exactly. not enough shields in Palace Guard pack. And you know what's really annoying? Mm. I assembled my palace guard, and some of them, I think two of them, have shields built into, and there's two spare shields. Yeah. And I hadn't decided where to put them on spears or yeah. blades, and in the last year, I've lost one of those shields. Have you? Yeah. Which is incredibly frustrating because they're a very rare commodity. Mm. So I've got one spare shield. You've got one up there. Yeah, you? that's the one I've got. So that's a bit annoying. But maybe you could do that. Maybe that is something to do. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should think about that if you <laughs> lost those ones. Because mm. you've got some of the cavalry. Yeah, I've got two. Yeah, so you might want to... I don't know, maybe you've not got enough elves to do that, have the dismounts. Uh, maybe. maybe you could just have one as a dismount. Yeah. But the, it's a really interesting profile, that. Mm. So no bow, no shield, no lance, yeah. and no options for them. Yeah, it's very, the opposite of a Rivendell Knight. But they're very cheap. And they get the back. You say very cheap, I mean, they're still, they're Royal Guard territory. Yeah, but they're, they're Palace Guard. You can either have a Palace Guard or foot. Mm. Or, which is defense six, because it would have a shield, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or, these guys. I mean, they'd be very effective when they charge in. Yeah. It's just they're getting them into combat. Yeah. But well, you'd have them, it'd be, it wouldn't be a <coughs> warband of cavalry, you'd have yeah. a couple, I think, yeah. behind your lines, mm -hmm. who would then sweep round. But they're a nice profile, they're, they're very much a glass hammer with that low defence. Yeah. So that's the elves. Yeah. Now what I think, what I'm quite excited about, and we haven't really chatted about that, yeah, you're gonna say. is I think that makes Thranduil's halls really quite competitive. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a, for not in a kind of got to win a tournament way, but... Yeah. In a, I'll take this as a cool, mm -hmm. fun army, mm -hmm. but actually, I'll do quite well. I think the synergy behind it could be brilliant. Go on. Okay, so you take Tariel, yeah. Stand Tariel leading 10 Merkwood Rangers. Yeah. That's 100% bows. Yeah. They've all got Elven Cloaks. Yeah. They go behind well, even just the line of yeah. Merkwood Elves to yeah. protect them. They're gunning down something else. Those Merkwood Elves also have a, a third bows yeah. in them. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly you can unlock the Palace Guard because you don't need to fill a warband with them. Yeah. You just put a few, you get take your just new Thranduil, a yeah. few palace guard around them, they're yeah. suddenly fight six troops. Yeah. So you've got your kind of Galathrum court guard. And there. then have the glaives behind them. Yeah. And then maybe a couple of those knights, you've got people like Legolas in there. Yeah. I think that's a tasty little yeah, the fight six, The palace guard then become very good with that fight six. I think if you could get to a point where you had even two warbands, or maybe, maybe a warband and a half of the Mirkwood, Armoured Elves, mm -hmm. and then like, yeah, something like 12, 12 Mirkwood Elves with 6 Palace Guard, maybe mm -hmm. something like that. I think it could be very, very yeah. effective. I mean, well, I took to Throne of Schools last year the, the Mirkwood Rangers and the Palace Guard with Thranduil, Tauriel, Legolas and Keeley. And whilst the Palace Guard are overpointed, 
They are very, very good yeah, in a game six situation. Really. The fight six would really help them. Them. Yeah, or going up against Isengard heroes, you're mm. beating them. Yeah. They have to strike to beat Be your more troops. troops. Where, and you're probably surrounding them. So I just think there's something. Yeah. No one steal my eye. I'd like to start building, because I've got, I've got Terror and the Rangers mm. done. I could see myself, I've got the Palace Guard assembled and ready mm -hmm. to go. I can see that being a little army I build up at the start. So where's that on the painting list? It's pretty high. Pretty high. I'm going to do those, as I said, I think I'll do those hero doors first, mm -hmm. and then I think I'm going to do the um, armoured elves. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do, is the other thing that appeals to me now, is I'm going to paint the Palace Guard like uh, the Battle of Five Armies. Yeah. So you, you're essentially using, because they look very similar, they've got the same yeah. shields, so yeah. I was picking up on earlier, and you're essentially getting mm. your Battle of Five Armies army cheap. Yeah. Because you can buy them in plastic. Yeah. It's a good plan. I think it could be really cool. Yeah. I think it'd be a lot of fun to use as well. Yeah. And you know, you talk about I don't know what what point you look at there, maybe seven hundred. Yeah, two fifty. With those <laughs> six hundred. Three forty on heroes. Maybe six hundred. Yeah, maybe six hundred points. Hundred and forty that's five hundred. That would then leave you about a hundred points for the no, it's probably near a seven hundred. Yeah, you get a nice probably pop worries. a couple of cavalry in there. Yeah, yeah. maybe six fifty, something like that, for what we just yeah. talked about. And you're talking about ten Merkwood Rangers, mm -hmm. three Elf Archers. That's thirteen yeah. shots. Legolas and Tarrier. Yeah, it's a, it's a good seventeen point. shot, yeah. seventeen Elf bows. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. And it'd be a hell of a lot of fun to use. Yeah. So um, yeah, maybe Longbottom. That's seven hundred points. Yeah. And then I'll watch it all get burnt alive by whoever brings smell. Smell. <laughs> smell. Oh well. What's that? Right. Rangers. Smell. Um, so, on to the White Castle. Indeed. Yeah. Um, so, this is rather cool that they've all got an update. Mm -hmm. And I think we've seen some profiles with especially the spells, new spells, that um, was pleasing. Yeah, absolutely. It's been, long. It's been essentially since <clears throat> this book came out. Yeah. Two years ago, we've been waiting for these. Yeah. So, um, should we start with the elves? Yeah. Just to continue the theme. So, we have Elrond, Lord of the West. Um, so, it's quite similar to um, his normal Hobbit profile in terms of the points. He's 180, so he's 10 more. Yes. More than usual. So, he's got his heavy armour and elven blade and Belia. Allowing him to re-roll fates. points. Um, so he's fight six. Um, strength four, defense seven, three attacks, three wounds, courage seven. Uh, might will and fate all threes. So same as usual, but very good profile. Yeah. He also causes terror and has a woodland creature. He now he also has his spells as usual. The nature's wrath on a four plus and renew on a three plus. So exactly the same. So what do you get for the ten points extra? You don't know. He gets Champion of the Free People special rule. What's that? Apparently, Elrond, um, because he's opposed oh, Sauron, right yeah, because he's ever opposed Sauron's power, and many of the Dark Lord's lieutenants have fallen by his hand, he gets to call a free heroic strike every turn, which is very good and quite that. yeah, very a unique and b quite nice with the. Thorin gets a free hero at combat every turn, Elrond gets a free hero at strike every turn, which is quite nice. Um, which is very good because he's bait, so he is fight six, but he's effectively fight seven every go, at least. Yeah. Which is brilliant. Yeah. But on average, he's fight nine. Yes. Nine and a half. Yeah. That's very good. It's very good. You can't take a horse with him, so yeah. it has to be on foot. Because 180 points seems like an awful lot, but yeah. when you compare it to 170 points, that's worth paying the 10 points for. Yes. And if you think, yeah, it, but it is a toss-up between, do you want him to have a free heroic strike every turn, or a horse? What do you mean? Horse is better. It's horse, isn't it? But, this still is a very good profile. Yeah. He's going to be very hard to take down. Yeah. Because you know he's gonna he's gonna sap if uh, heroes are gonna struggle to take him down. The other th the other thing I was thinking is when you go into the way you draw a hero's might, you chuck some weak into him and you heroic strike. Yeah. They don't have to use a point of might to yeah. heroic strike. He doesn't, no. which will mean his might is free yeah. to do um, stuff. help the nature's wrath or get the six. Yeah, or get the six. Needs, which is quite fun. And he's got the elven blade, so he's gonna be winning ties a lot. Yeah, so he, he's a very good hero. 
he can't because he's in this list, the White Council list, which I will tell you includes Galadriel or the new Galadriel, all the Galadriels. <laughs> Sauron on the White or Sauron on the Wise, Glandalf the Grey, Radagast the Brown or Radagast the Brown Riding Giant Eagle, which we'll come on to, um, or Elrond or Elrond Lord of the West. So he can only be in this profile, he can't lead High Elves or anything like that. If Linda is within three inches of him, mm -hmm. if Linda is within three inches of Elrond, Elrond may spend a single will point per turn without distracting it from his stop. The Hobbit Elrond's just called Elrond, isn't he? Do you think it's him though? Do you think that's. I I'd argue that the common sense means it's any Elrond, or at it's least quite a similar Hobbit to the Palace one. Guard. Yeah. Oh, um, argument is yeah. it? I I reckon it'd be anyone. But does, yeah, does that apply, well? Does that apply to um, Master of Thingy, Master of Do Doomiflick? I have no idea. What uh, Master oh, of Rivendell. No idea. It's interesting. What do you think, guys? Yeah, maybe one to Does Linda's you. rule, because it would be that and that, does Linda's rule mm. only apply to Hobbit Elrond? Does it apply to Hobbit Elrond and Free People's mm. Elrond? Or does it apply to any of the now four Elrond profiles? I'd, I'd like it to apply to all of them, because it's the same person. Yeah. And he's also in the same universe as yeah. Linda's Linda. Yeah. I mean, in, in kind of film terms, if he was able to do it to him a couple of weeks ago, he should probably be able to do it to him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, you have to use the old Hobbit model anyway with him heavily armoured. Or you could use the... Last, um, last Alliance. Yeah. That is, again, this has got me quite excited to paint up that Hobbit yeah. Elrond. Yeah. Because that scene, again, no spoilers, yeah. but we all know there's a scene with Dog Yeah. And it, it's amazing. this scene for which these profiles came out, it was amazing. And I would quite like to take these. Yes. So, and suddenly then it's like, that's a force you can paint up quite quickly. Yeah. Just a few little hero models. Yeah. Okay, um, so that's our one. Galadriel is the next one. Galadriel, Lady of Light. She's 125 points. So that's the same as the... Um, I think it's cheaper, isn't it? The war aspect. Cheap, yeah, about the same as the war aspect. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And five points cheaper than the normal Galadriel. It's very similar profile to the... Um, war aspect, Galadriel. She gets one less defence. Yeah, fight six, strength three, defence three, which is like the um, normal Galadriel. Um, three attacks, three wounds, courage seven, and then three, six, three for might, will, fate. So that's like the normal Galadriel as opposed to the war aspect. So she gets three points of might, three points of will over war aspect. Yes, yes. And I uh, can have the three one per turn. Which the war aspect one can't doesn't get. No, she doesn't. No. So she's definitely better than the war aspect yeah, one. But yeah. definitely. By a long way because um she gets terror, gets Nenya with the rerolling fate, uh wooden creature, but also gets the war aspect special rule. Mm hmm So all enemies within six inches get the minus one penalty to their courage, which is a great rule. And um never counts as being unarmed. And she doesn't have an elven blade, I think. Does that one have? Nope. No, oh, she has it modelled on her, but doesn't have one. Didn't have model on Oh, what, at the hip, is it? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Okay, so anyway, yeah, you don't get the, the, the penalty for being unarmed. Um, so yeah, it's very, it's, it's a much better profile than the, the war aspect one. Yeah, she loses a point of defence, gets two yeah. points of will. And then versus the, the spell casting one, the one with um, Immobilise, um, she gets the three attacks. Yeah, which is really useful and isn't unarmed. So, you know, you don't want to chuck Galadriel in necessarily, but you know, there might become a time. She's got three attacks. She gets in, yeah. She goes in, yeah. Three attacks, fight six. She's three might, yeah. So it's interesting you mentioned Mobilize because that's a really great spell. Yeah. That Galadriel has, and this one doesn't get no, it. No, doesn't get the any of the spells that normal Galadriel does. Um, she does get the light of Erendil, uh, which means she gets blinding light automatically from the start. That is fantastic. Yeah. It's really good. There's no good model that has that. No. It's essentially like the um, Shadow Lord. Yeah. So, just I mean, Gandalf and Galadriel can cast it. Yeah. But but you're normally using a point of might. Yeah. The might to channel, channel and free will and one will. Free will or two will, and then um, you can't go to zero will and still yeah. have it. So that's very good. Um, but Galadriel has two spells. First one is Fortify Spirit, which she gets on a two plus, so quite easy to cast. And we haven't seen this before. No. Fortify Spirit, 
only targets the caster or a model in base contact with him. Her. Her. While this power is in effect, the model rolls two extra dice when making resist tests. These extra dice do not reduce his will store, hers, mm -hmm. and can be rolled even if he, she, has no will remaining or chooses not to expend any will. Yeah. And if you were to channel it, they could add one to the highest dice already yeah. commanded. Now someone said an interesting thing that I don't think contradicts this, that it can only be cast, so glad you cast it on either herself or someone who yeah. base contact. That person can then wander off. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, you can cast it on someone in base contact, but they don't have to stay in base contact with Gladrill. Does it say... It says, only targets the caster or, or a model in base contact with him. While the power's in effect, the model rolls two extra dice. Yeah, though the range so of the spell target. is 12 inches, which is odd. Very odd. But yeah, so your target is a model, either Gladrill or someone in base contact with you. But then it's a exhaustion spell. Yeah. So then, as long as it's in effect, they can wander off and do whatever they want. That's really great. So you don't think they have to be touching? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything... It says while this power is in effect. The power only targets the caster or a model in base contact. Yeah, target is when you cast it. When you it. cast it. No, it's an exhaustion thing. So it's odd that it says 12 inches for the range, yeah. <coughs> but even that would imply <coughs> that you can cast it on anyone within 12 inches. I think that might be a slight oversight. But, hmm. I think, you wander around your heroes. Yeah. Give it's them a free all will fight every turn. Yeah. Well, sod your heroes, do it for every model in your army. <laughs> now, no Nature's one. wrath that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice rule. It's good yeah. for coming up against other sp enemy spellcasters. Yeah. And she also has banished... What's it also, what could, sorry, what could it do to a spellcaster? No, so just they could the spellcasters can't... Two Too extra to the heroes. It'd be two extra dice when making three. resist rolls. Yeah. So if you did it on a spellcaster with a stick, they'd get three. Oh, with the free one, yeah. It's yeah. quite cool. Yeah. So if you give it to Gandalf, yeah. 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 She also has banishment. Hooray. Which is a new spell. I think we were all pleased to see her get both of these because yes. we've been looking at these spells yeah. for the last Who two years. Who is gonna get these? It's interesting to notice on that that Curse is still in here and no one has Curse. Yeah, you'd have thought the necromancer would come out. Maybe. Hope. Banishment. This power can only affect spirits and undead. Though, bear in mind that Adam Trope wrote this bit, and now it's Simon Grant writing this bit. Yes. So there may not be a yeah, connect yeah, between yeah. the two. Only affects spirits and undead. The target model automatically suffers one wound. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, Ray. Yeah, all Ray's just go automatically. And channeled, the target model suffers D3 wounds. Yeah. So, just trying to think, what would you do that on? I mean, I'll say um, it would automatically kill a ring wraith without them having to take their fate. If you I'll get say, two yeah, or three, shake up. So I got three. Yes, or yeah. three, four, and then the Balrog is also a spirit. Yeah. But yeah, Sauron is a Sauron spirit. Is a spirit. But yeah, you'd probably want to do it. You might do it on the ring wraith just in case. Like, think of the Undying. Definitely the Twin Lake. I, I mean, the channeled version, because the Undying can fate. Yeah. Oh, even the Undying could fake multiple wounds. Does it automatically wound them with... Can they use Fate on yeah, them? Yeah, they'd, they'd be able to use Fate on them. Yeah. But the Dwemer Lake... Yeah, Dwemer Lake's like. gone. So, a couple of bad rolls for those Fates. Yeah. yeah, but you might you might channel it. You on, might. Yeah. You might channel it on some of the Ring Race to... If they've got one... My issue with channeling that is you can still roll a one. Yeah. I hate... I, I've never, ever, ever channeled a spell that could have yeah. the same effect. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it could. I mean, it could finish one off if you've yeah. got the might in the bank and you're you're worried about that ring wraith on a fell beast. Yeah. Why not channel it? it? You yeah. get a five or a six. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Maybe a might is worth a yeah. the two in three shot. Yeah. 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 But yeah, very very good profile. Really good. And I also and for thought, I mean, twenty five points. Yeah. It's a bargain. I thought that could be tacked onto that elf army I was talking about mm. with the blinding light. But it is. It's a very very anti wraith profile. Yeah. So it will it should reduce the dominance of wraiths at tournaments because ring wraiths are kind of a auto include for evil forces if they do well. But it'll only do that if she becomes an auto include. Yes. Do you now take Galadriel? Some people will. Yeah. And I think yeah, maybe. But you're taking a model that only 
She's good against ring race she's or slash spell other casters. spellcasters. So at higher points value games, she's very, very good. Mm. When you go up to the thousand point mark, you will expect to see multiple spellcasters and wraiths. So you take it. At lower points values, you wouldn't because yeah. she's not worth it. You won't see those characters enough. So yeah, so a then thousand that means points, points very you can still take the wraith yeah. because she's not going to be about. But at a thousand points, she's very, very good. Mm. In a big army, you'd want to include her. Yeah. Particularly if you were going up against evil. If I was at lower points, I'd probably take the old Galadriel for the Immobilize. Yeah, because that, that's the thing, lacking Immobilize. It'd be nice if she had Immobilize and then was 25 points more. Yeah. Then she'd be more But again, <clears throat> well done, Mr. Grant. Yes. It's a really interesting choice. Yeah. It's a really good profile. So, And you mean that good as in interesting yes. rather than good as in... Yeah, good as in Incredibly yes, effective. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, because you turn up on the table and they've not got any spellcasters. She's useless, really. Yeah. I mean, she, well, well, she, goes in, she goes in to fight. She's got but, an awful lot of will to do nothing. But for 125 with. points, you can have Legless on the horse. She's never got well, well, Legless test. on the horse, but Legless. And, yeah. you know, you choose Legless in that kind of fighting situation. Yeah. So she's very good. So we also have a couple it's the of end of the characters. Elves. Yeah, end of the elves. Two more characters to go through. Mm -hmm. um, first is Saruman the Wise. Which is the third Saruman profile. Yes, yeah, Saruman the good. Which include... Sharky. Yeah, second one for good though. Mm -hmm. um, 20 points more than the old good profile. And so around the whites, the good one, mm -hmm. generally regarded best wizard in the game? Yeah, he's a, well for his points. Because mm. Gandalf the White is excellent as well. But the range of Gandalf yeah, the White 18, spells. 18 inch spells, and he keeps the 18 inch spells here. So it's the same spells, um, the same profile. Um, he has a couple of special rules. Yeah, um, doesn't he? So the same... Uh, oh, sorry, three. The, the same one as last time, this consuming Maribori, meaning that he and Gandalf uh, don't get on, so won't benefit from each other. And that's heroic <coughs> actions. And strength and will. And strength and will. Yeah. Which is a fun, fluffy rule. Yeah. Um, now, the first special rule he gets is Voice of Corinne, uh, and that's uh, like Mithrandir, that's Saruman's name in Elvish. Um, and his... Greatest power in the books. It's always they always talk about his book, uh, his voice being the, um, the the main thing, and his stand fast is twelve inches. And the key thing about this is that it affects other heroes. Sorry, man, the white's got that though. Yeah, but it's a very good rule. Yeah, it's a great rule, fantastic rule. Yeah. Particularly when he's carriage seven. Yeah. So nothing is running away while Saruman the White is on your side. Yeah, it's brilliant because then that you, you have your heroes. I know, 12 inches away here, 11 inches away here, 11 yeah. inches away here, they then affect 6 inches that way. Yeah. You know, you, you can daisy chain it to yeah. give yourself a... The entire board, really. What is that? 36 inch stand fast. Yeah, so who's the only who's the dwarf one who gives you the whole world? Is that Thrain. 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 Um, Thrain's dead, he's not very imposing. Yeah. Thrain's... Thrain's... Thrain's might be dead. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, on the spells, there is one slight difference. Instead of terrifying aura, he gets aura of command. He does indeed. An aura of command um, Kelleborn has. <coughs> yeah, not, it's not a very common spell, no. is it? But that is all friendly models within six inches of him automatically pass courage tests. Which is good if they've got terrifying things to charge, but otherwise, because of his stand, um, if, there's no point in doing it if, with the stand first. It's very. Um, it's fluffy again, isn't it? Yeah. It's dull gold or thing. Yeah. But again, do you know what? I use Saruman an awful lot. Yeah. And I always cast Terrifying Aura at the start yeah. and get it up. And generally speaking, if I win a game, yeah. I've got to be honest, not a lot of people charge him. No. If, so, if people are charging Saruman, people, things have generally gone pretty badly for you. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I you think that's really quite a it. nice swap, maybe. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Aura of Command could be quite interesting. Again, could obviously. Be useful. Depending on what you're And so that you is an exhaustion spell as well, so it's not like you have yeah. to you know, fire it up at the start yeah. of the game. Yeah. And if I you mean, channel it, it becomes 12 inches. Yeah. I mean, even elves may struggle to get into things like Ring Race with the minus one courage, so yeah, it's worth channeling that. Yeah. No, not channeling, worth casting that and getting them in. Um, his final special rule is Lord of the Istari, so the wizard in council. Um, it's the most powerful wizard um, sent to Middle Earth, leader of their order. He can re-roll um, one dice when casting or resisting spells, which is huge. Oh, That's nice. essentially an extra roll. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a staff of power, essentially, gives him two dice a turn. Yeah. It's 
ridiculous. It's very, very good. It's very powerful. He pays the extra 20 points for this, though, essentially. And, and again, here's an interesting thought. He can't take a horse. No. So he's arguably a lot better than the old Sauron. You know, that's also not his last special rule. Oh no, that's not his last special rule. But overlooked, again, what one. makes him incredibly good. Yeah, he is resistant to magic. Which doesn't sound great on the face of it, because you're like, oh, well, he's got loads of will. But Saruman will probably get out of will at some point, throwing lots of spells around. And he's resistant to magic, <coughs> he gets to re-roll that. Yes. Which means, you can essentially blow his mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. early on. Do whatever you want with it. Sorcerer's yeah. Blast, Sor Sorcerer's Blast on two. Sorcerer's yeah. He cast it on a four. He can yeah. re-roll one of them. Yeah. Just Would you even do it on two? Yeah. I don't know. But do it on one. Like, just chuck it away fairly yeah. freely. Yeah. And even then, when he's out, the only problem with him, you, you'd keep one in the store yeah. to keep his exhaustion spell yeah. going, maybe, or, yeah. or of command. But then, no, he could, no, you can only use Resident to Magic yeah, out, isn't it? Yeah, so if you don't want Aura of the Command yeah, to play, yeah. blow away his will. And then, every single turn, he can cast a spell and re-roll it. Re it, and resist the spell and re-roll it for yeah. the rest of the game. Yeah. Unless there's a Witch King out there to break his stick. Yeah. That's incredible. He's very good. Especially, it, it's, it'll be in the longer games where you really... I mean, you can blow it early, but in the longer games, he becomes more and more powerful. And from my point of view, as an evil player, yeah. he's the same points I expect him to be anyway. Yeah. 170. Yeah, I mean, my, the other he doesn't get the 150 is really ch too cheap. Yeah. And he's yeah, got 18-inch mobilised, 18-inch command. Which is huge. And Sorceress Blast on 4+. plus. He's a very, very good wizard. Yeah. Would you take him or Gandalf the Grey on foot? Him. Him. He doesn't have the blinding light. But it depends what army he's going with. He's very good. Yeah, but he gets Sorcerer of Boston on four of Yeah, them. yeah. He's yeah. fantastic. And he, I genuinely think, in a way that Elrond isn't, I think he's worth it without the horse. <clears throat> yeah. Because he's got the 18 inch spells, he, yeah. you know, he can't, he can't get either. in the same position for yeah. the blasts. But he will get more blast off. Yeah. His, his blasts don't need to be as well lined up, because yeah. he'll be doing them every single turn. And chuck loads, yeah. I mean, I don't even want to think about the tactics on that. Do you, do you tuck two dice at it, and now he gets to re-roll one, or yeah. do you still just chuck Earth. one, yeah. like knowing that you're going to get to re-roll yeah. it? That's a very, very good profile. Yeah. And again, he's encouraged me. I've got my plan, my ceremonial plan here, but that's mm. kind of encouraged me to get, I want to get my white council one, yeah. like get him painted up. Yeah, I've got the one from the um, Gandalf versus Saruman fight. Yeah, I've got I him want to get that one. Do it. Yeah. I'm going to do that one. So it's really cool again that these profiles are very much encouraging you to paint. Yeah. Which I think is a testament. It's really good. Final White Council profile is Radagast the Brown riding a giant, oh, great eagle. And I think it's not a spoiler in the film because no. of this to say yeah. this happens in the film at some point. Yeah. But I think it's fair to say no one saw this coming. No. Until the profile came out, like, no one was like... What? You know, people have been crying out for years for to let Gandalf ride an eagle. Yeah. But um Radagast gets it. Yeah, yeah Radagast gets it. Two hundred and ten points, which is a lot. But you know, he's on an eagle. <laughs> he is very much on an eagle. Now um Yeah, we made a mistake in the last yeah, Atlanta. Where you say um Radagast is um hundred fifty. Yeah. And Eagle's ninety. So he should be two hundred forty, so yeah. it seems like a bargain. But yeah. what doesn't he have? Doesn't have his stuff of power. Which doesn't. Is, Quite a big deal. For reasons that you you won't actually see if you go and see the film, mm. to be honest, but you might see in the extended edition. Mm. Um, yes, he does have a staff of power. Which, again, makes this an interesting tricky. choice. Yeah. Do you take him on the sleigh? Or just on the horse? Or on foot. Or, or, on on foot? or, or do you take this one? And they're very different game play styles. Mm. Um, it's the same other rules, isn't it? So you can still see everywhere. Yep. You can have line of sight to everywhere. Yep. Which isn't as big a deal because he hasn't got like sorceress blast. Yeah. And if he's on <laughs> foot, clue he's on an eagle. Yeah. He counts as wearing an elven cloak. Um he also the eagle automatically passes courage test if he dismounts. Yes, so he can. I don't know why you would want to do this. No. You could just dismount and get an eagle. Yeah, but then you Radagast is very ineffective without yeah, the absolutely. the stuff. But he does have Nature's Wrath as a bonus. He does get Nature's Wrath on the front use. Which is good. And of course the downside being he now only has um, six will. Yeah. 
But, so yeah, he's got an array of spells, Aura of Dismay, Immobilize, Nature's Wrath, Panic Steed, Renew, that he can use, but only six will trip him. His Nature's Wrath will be bigger because it's coming out from an eagle base size. Um, but yeah, um, are there any, yeah, that, it's essentially him on an eagle, so he gets monstrous mount, basically. He gives, he gives good and monstrous mount. Yeah, so Finally, like the eagle eagle beast is effective. Yeah. The so, eagle will have three, three on the charge. Knocked down. Yeah, he doesn't get Sebastian, that's the only other thing. No. He doesn't have a sleigh. No. It's not a sleigh on an eagle. Right. No. Um, what do you think? I think it's a cool profile. I think it's very important as well that people are like, is that... Okay, so is Radagast on an eagle without a staff better or worse than Radagast yeah. on foot with a staff? Yeah. And I don't think you think about it like that. I don't think this is Radagast on an eagle. I think this is an eagle with, an with three might. Six will, three yeah. fate that can cast spells, yeah, and gets monstrous mount, yeah. And then you're essentially saying, Is this worth 210 points? Yeah, and yes, probably. And yeah, because it can it's fight seven, which is big, and it can strike, or it strike, mm -hmm. and it's got fate. Would it strike and will from, to resist six will to resist? From profile? I think it, no, it picked the highest, it wouldn't it? can pick the highest, yeah, pick the highest fight, strike mm -hmm. from um, the eagle. So, yeah, that's very cool, and fingers crossed for a model for that. I don't yeah. think we'll particularly... The, so, basically, in this prof, in this supplement, the only things we haven't seen models for are the White Council. Yeah. And I don't particularly think before. we will, because yeah. we've seen Hobbit models for them. Mm -hmm. There are new models out yeah. for all of their poses. Yeah. Yeah, that was, we haven't actually said I want to do the, the war, the Latrial, and paint that up. Yeah. Um, whereas, I don't think they'd put... GW's policy is, in these days is they don't write rules if they wouldn't do a model. Yeah. So I would be expecting Radagast and Eagle. Mm -hmm. Probably, unfortunately, in fine cast, so you're probably looking at the 30 quid model. Mm -hmm. um, it'd but be a cool model. It'd be a very cool model. And I think, um, yeah, I think that could be quite tasty. I think yeah. you might see him in um, in good armies popping mm -hmm. up. So all of those guys, Saruman, Gladriel, Elrond and Raddy, are available in the White Council list. Yeah. Yep. Which still gets its um, plus ones resist. Yeah. If you're within six inches. Yeah. Have another model. And you can still have all the old heroes, so Kirdan, Glorfindel, Aristor, Celeborn, Arwen. And who else can you have? Legolas and Thranduil and the new the versions new ones. of them. The new Legolas and Thranduil can be in the White Council one. Which gives them some fighters, which mm. they need. So there's some really interesting kind of you combos can get a good old there. hero in there. And with Galadriel and that one of purpose. They're not going to, they're not going to be troubled by enemy spellcasters. Mm. That that Gladriel in there, mm. maybe with, then Saruman or Gandalf for an immobilize. Yeah, I mean, and then like arguably, you don't, and horse. arguably you don't need G Gandalf, because Gladriel's got the blinding light, so you take Saruman yeah. for the wizard stuff. Yeah. But you'd need him. The only slight thing is you'd need them on a horse to keep up. So yeah. you'd need the old Saruman. Yeah. Maybe. Keep up with... Well, you're rather mounted heroes. Well, you could have Thranduil on foot, Elrond on foot. Oh, you want them on foot? Foot White Council. Smashing up Del Gorda. Yeah. Could be quite fun. Yeah. But anyway, that's um, our second look now at yeah. the Salt Week. That um, is the White Council and the Elves. Yeah, we've got one more to go through with you. Yeah. Um, look out for that. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, chat through the Elves and White Council. Indeed. Um, so, as ever, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Split your habit, hubby. Like us on Twitter. No, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And happy strategy battle gaming. Guys. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas indeed. <laughs>